and welcome to the Archie Luxury Luxury Channel. Today we're doing viewer emails. And uh, let's start the mailbag. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's have a look at our first email in. Okay, here we go. This is from D Denver. It goes, okay. He goes, um, uh, okay. He, he's asking me about an opinion of a watch here. He goes, um... I stumbled upon your website and learned a lot. I'm rather new at watch, watch collecting and have only about five so far. I was curious about how you feel about Buchher. B-U-C-H-E-R-E-R. Buchherer. I like them and they seem more affordable than the Amigas and the rest of the high-end watches. I know they are not as good as Amiga, but to me they still seem fairly good quality. Thanks for your website again. That's Dana Denver. And uh, my answer to her was, well, to him, I said, thanks. I said, he's asked me for my opinion. And I said, basically, Buescherer is a piece of shit. That's what I said to him. I told him the truth. There's no point fucking around lying to these punters out there. you got to tell them the truth. Okay, next email in. This is from Noonsight2 2010. And fuck you, Noonsight. He goes, at Archie Luxury, a man who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. An ignorant, foul-mouthed, pretentious, overprivileged, imbecile with too much money who wouldn't know real life if it bit him. I have never experienced such a pathetic individual in my life. He has to be a comedian pulling a stunt. Nothing in real life is as disgusting as this sick waste of space. I've listened to a number of his rants and the man is a dreg of humanity. Moonsight, go fuck yourself. I mean, I am Archie Luxury. I've got a following out there. I got, I'm very, very popular. So go fuck yourself. Okay, next, next uh, viewer email. And this was regarding 17-year-olds wearing Patek Philippe's Archie's Luxuries Opinion. I bought a beautiful Bulgarian Cartier when I was even younger than 17. Yeah, but I mean, let's be honest, both of those brands there aren't, aren't Patek level. I did not like to mention which models as they are extremely limited and highly sought after in order to get contacted on whether I want to sell them. Well... Uh, I think I think I think you've been spun a line there, son. But um, yeah, that's that's uh, that's great. Okay, hey Archie, I got a Vacheron and a Ulysses Narden. I was wondering what your thoughts are about Ulysses Narden. Of course, there are some serious complications. Perpetual calendars and minute repeaters that company makes. Ulysses Narden, my opinion. I've only ever bought one Ulysses Narden and I didn't make a fucking dollar on it. So to me, they're a piece of shit. A lot of Ulysses Nardens just used ETA movements. So in my opinion, they suck. Okay, next viewer email. Hublo timepieces of European Royal and has only been around since the 80s. Breguet, one of the oldest surviving watch brands and creators of the legendary Torbion, JLC, Ulysses Narden, Piaget, Corum, Vacher and Constantine, Frank Muller, Rolex, really twice. And this is in response to the best 10 watches of all time. You bet your fucking goddamn ass Rolex twice. I mean, the Submariner and the Datejust, you bet your goddamn fucking ass. Okay, next viewer email. Hey Archie, I just reviewed your video on the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Jumbo. I think I'm in love. With the watch, that is. I don't know if I'm of the means to purchase such an awesome piece. I'm earning 95000 a year and I live in California. I know this is a touchy subject is open to debate, but what would you say is a reasonable percentage of one's annual income to spend on a quality watch? For God's sake. There doesn't seem to be a spending percentage for an engagement. Sorry, there does seem, does exist a spending a percentage for an engagement ring, right? Isn't it two months salary? Anyway, I would like love to be the proud owner of this watch. One last question. What about so called knockoffs or replicas? I'd love I'd rather have the real thing myself. Thanks. Okay, that's two. Two you two 
tube dragon. Okay. Well, look. Replicas and knockoffs and fakes, authentic replicas, they're all fucking shit. They are worse than your tag hoya. Now, let's have a look at your question there. You earn 95000 a year. Look, it really, it doesn't matter how much money you earn. Okay, this is this is the thing. Don't get caught up in, look, I've got to earn this much to buy this much. Look, if you earn 45000 a year in a fucking factory, why not? buy a Patek for yourself. I mean, this is the Archie Luxury Channel. I'm trying to introduce class to every layer of society. And I gotta say, sometimes Archie, life has been a fucking bitch to me too. But I still wear my Patek and I still wear my Giga La Cultura Reverso Grand Date. But I mean, this is the thing. You know, you don't need, doesn't matter what income you have, it's how much do you save a year and how much can you afford. Personally, on 95000 a year, you can buy what you like. But I try and educate my viewers to buy well on the secondary market. Okay, so look, you earn great money. I think that's fantastic. You deserve a pat on the back. That's great. I'm proud of you, son. And uh, hey, any chance you could send Archie a little tip? Because Archie's going through some hard times at the moment. So, please, if you could spare a few dollars, just make a PayPal donation to Archie. Next email here. What have we got here? Just going through this list here. He goes, um, uh, he goes, uh, Hi, Archie. I would like to know what watch do IT guys mostly wear? Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon? Question mark. Well, look, i got to tell you the truth. Most IT guys that I've worked with, this is Archie Luxury, are fucking uncool fuckers. They wear pieces of fucking shit. They wear watches they purchased from a service station. They wear watches that their father or their mother gave them when they graduated from high school. They are boring fucks. Okay? I mean, to be honest with you, IT is one of the worst industries. It's like the aviation industry. You know, you go back in time and the fuckers wore GMTs. Now, the fuckers, to be a commercial pilot, they'll work for fucking 20000 a year. What watch do you think they can afford on that sort of salary? Not fucking much. I can tell you that much. So, as far as it goes there, all I can say is, you know, most of the people on IT wear plastic pieces of shit. Okay, next email. Hi, Archie. Writing to you from the US. I don't know whether you're aware of this, but Rolex is pulling the plug on authorized dealers all over the country. As I stated, they will not be severing times with all ADs, but rather only certain ones. I'm not quite sure why they're doing this, but I've heard they think the brand will be better represented by the Rolex boutiques. In any event, due to this, I'm about to purchase a brand new random serial non-date sub uh, for 4000 US with two years Rolex warranty and everything, just in the nick of time before the AD sold what remained of his Rolex stock. In the US, the watch retails for 6300 6, US, and I'm wanting a 14060M for some time, and I'm very happy I followed your advice. Refused to pay retail and waited patiently for the right piece to come my way. I had been hoping to find a good older pre-owned example but due to this circumstance I was able to get this piece brand new for perhaps a few hundred dollars more than pre-owned. The watch is fantastic and I intend to keep it for the rest of my life. Many thanks for advising me never to pay retail. No worries Chris and with your savings if you wouldn't mind just sending Archie five bucks that'll be a great way to keep your appreciation in Archie's mind there. And uh, let's have a look what what else is in the Archie Luxury mailbag this week. And here we go. Hi Archie, I'm banking about 200,000 a year. Got myself a waterfront condo, I drive a BMW and own three different Rolexes. And I am looking into more into the more luxurious watches. I'm interested in that one yours always talking about about being the best Patek Philippe, how much are they and where can I look into some? Thanks, Lance. Hey, Lance, I don't think Patek is sort of the brand for you. I don't want to put you down, but hey, for a guy of your 
your um your means you really need something which just says to the world how fucking fantastic you are and look let's be honest patek is a brand for connoisseurs who don't need constant reassuring from people in supermarkets who make 10 bucks an hour so my advice to you is go and buy the rolex sky dweller there you will be recognized for the dick that you are okay next viewer email let's have a look here what do we got here final one in the archie mailbag roundup for the week is from diego menendez and it goes what do i think i think you're the man you taught me well the school of archie i've learned more about watches from your channel than anything else i know which brands to aspire to and which brands to stay clear of my next watch will be either an Audemars Piguet, Jaeger La Cultura, or Vacheron Constantine. Second hand market, of course. You're the man, Archie. And with that, I leave it for this week. Thank you very much. I'm Archie Luxury. Goodbye. <laughs>